Okay, I think we're nice and caught up now. Because, okay. My power went out, right? So I was, you know, playing, doing whatever. And the freaking power went out. And then it's like, damn. I lost my recording. Now, I could, could just re-record it on, um, like, record the Twitch VOD, whatever. But I'm not going to do all that. You know what? I'm going to play the game again. I'm going to go through it again. I'm just going to, like, try my best, pretty much. Um, I caught up, I don't know if you remember, the, the previous save we had back on, like, day two. Um, using that one, and I caught it up to where we were yesterday today earlier so now i can actually like play it right um i i got as close as i could to doing the same stuff i remember just doing like just plus playing you know um some mistakes here and there but it's fine like I, i'm fine uh i'm i made it caught up to day seven we're on chapter two so yeah i get to um i can actually play it now but one thing i did find out is this right here i can actually customize stuff and i had no idea so like I can make, you know, I can use the nano camo red, uh, 10 K Jesus. Um, I'm thinking we go with, actually, no, I think we'll do it when we're actually streaming, but, uh, for this, yeah, we're good. We got the, the cracked Durama, whatever it's called. So yeah, we should be good to go. Good evening, Jill. Hey guys, how did you get in? Copy my key. Remember? Copy of the key. And then it's like, wait a second, that's how you greet me after like being gone? And it's like, I, thought, I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, you'd have, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving for so many days without notice. Huh. See, Jill, he'd be here on Monday like everything, nothing ever happened. Why does he have a copy? I don't. The need for you having a key never arose. True. Anyway, glad you're fine, Jill. Gil. Thanks, I guess. Hmm. What, are you gonna make me wash the bathrooms again? Not today. Listen, I don't know who the hell you really are. What's trying to come back to bite you in the ass? Remember, there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give us a sign that you're still alive. True, you just kind of just dipped. So you're worried. Isn't that normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. Shut up. <laughs> She's right, though. You shouldn't make ladies worry so much. Check if the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Fine, fine. Hey, boss. Why'd you leave the hoodie in my place? Because it's yours? Oh, yeah, because it was like... You know, wanted us to... Wanted her to keep it. Or whatever because too big for us yeah i told you you can keep it so i couldn't find it in myself to take it why probably because i didn't feel right taking it but mostly because i thought you'd totally cute in it i see i think i'm rejecting a gift of yours it's just preserving cuteness is one of my principles right you still worried about the whole bar closure thing of course i am it's not like i can't work because of it but you know all we can do is enjoy whatever time we have left here is as best we can yeah the cheer up clients smell sadness and fears and we don't want that I go to my office. Okay. Ten is fine. Did I miss anything? Not really, no. Anyways, let's start today. Let's start the day. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Close enough. Time to make drinks and save lives. Change lives. Oh yeah, Gil? Hmm? Glad to see you're fine. I mean it. Thanks. Excuse me, I'm looking for Dana Zane. May I have your name? Tell her it's Brian. Just a sec. Boss! Some Brian guys looking for you. Tell him I'll be there in a bit. She, um, you heard her. It's alright, I'll wait. This is weird for someone to come asking for her It's not that weird when you're the BTC's regional manager in these parts. Ooh. Yeah, I guess that's... Uh, um, I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. <laughs> Don't worry. I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because of my position anyway. How do we like miss another client? Alright then. Well, what can I get for you? We're gonna get you, Mr. Brian. Let's go to basics. Sugar Rush, please. Coming up. I'll just Sugar Rush. I can do that. Yeah. I got you, man. Sugar Rush. One, two, one. That's it? No, you want Karma Train? Probably not. You're on business, aren't you? One, two, three, four. Zoo five. Bam. Sugar Rush. I found out it's um the sixth second that it starts blending, not the fifth. After the fifth, which is the sixth. So I can do it for five seconds and then be good. But yeah. Anyways. Why Sugar Rush? They're like the fried eggs of mixing drinks. They're the most basic thing. People can still mess them up. Sugar rushes are simple enough that you only need to follow instructions. If you can't even do that, your future as a bartender is not bright. <laughs> huh. Never tell me that. You're Jill, right? Yep, it's me. Dana's quite a, quite, yeah. Dana has talked quite a bit about you. Really? And I guess you must have a few questions for me, am I right? Well, I wasn't considering the closure warning Valhalla got. Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. 
I mean, again, it's my job. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now where to start? You saw the news on the information leak during the Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? About the White Knights having lots of members from criminal organizations in their ranks? Turns out, the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of the same folks have been trying to elude legal problems using BTC certified bars. The B BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too deeply. At least, not without working through a ton of paperwork first, giving the criminals time to cover their tracks. Although it takes a bit of time to set up, it has apparently proven an effective method for la money laundering. But is Valhalla coming? Young bars are the ones under the radar right now, and the most mod wait, and the modest to low income ones are the primary suspect. It's not just Valhalla. Any small bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales. Among the reasons a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every year. Hmm. You'll find out soon enough, huh? Thanks, Gil. Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. <laughs> seems your weapon was... Yeah, it seems your guess was spot on, Gil. Huh? If it helps, I'm doing my best to appear in your place. Really? Why? Most of Glitch City's bars are a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shady drinks. It's one of the few places from which I almost never receive complaints. Freaking carried by me, by the way. I got you. The closest thing to recent complaint was the whole Farmer Fabrics affair from a little while ago. So much saliva. I wouldn't get my hopes up though. Especially since the BTC would try to save face by asking as many suspects as possible. Knowing you're making an effort is enough, thanks. Can you see anything else? Now that I remember, the Rusty Book has a drink credit here, right? Hey, the suplex. Give me one of those, please. Sure. Let's give Mr. Brian a suplex. I got you, I got you. I give you everything you ever wanted and more. Two, three, one, two, three, on the rocks and mix. One, two, three, four, and five. Bam. Suplex cities. Virtually Foreign said this was an accident while making a pile driver. You can ask the credit of the drink just over here. Ah, so you're Robert. Yes, that's my name. I'm Robert, the one and only. Do you call you Gil, though? Uh, it's Argentinian <laughs> slang. Robert here is from Argentina. We call him Gil. <laughs> huh. I see. Sorry, Brian. I was sorting some stuff at the office. Please come in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Jill? Not really, not. Although, yeah. If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? 10 stars. Best ever. Clean in time to deliver the correct orders. Top notch bartender. Thank you. Now, if you excuse me. Gillian? Just, I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I've seen my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Yeah, I see. I don't know what boss I talked to Brian about. Um, Jill, was it? Hi, Stell. Uh, I'm Stella. What a pleasure. Hmm. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, call me Stella. Give me a big beer, please. Uh, sure. <laughs> Boy, a big beer. I got you. Big beer. One, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two, three, four, five. Asking for a big beer is concerning because you never ask for a big beer. You especially won't ask for a big beer unless something terrible is going on. So, yeah, are you sure you're fine? I'm not the only one picking up on this. It's freaking like, are you, are you, you, you good? Are you, um, <laughs> are you okay? You sure you're fine? Um, you know say, right? Yeah, of course. What's up with it? She's at the Apollo Trust Bank during the whole affair and... Oh, right. That. So she... She didn't show up on the list of massive body count in the aftermath, so I was hoping that maybe you've seen her. As much as I'd love to say I had... Um... Yeah, I figured as much. Err... Man, the air suddenly got a lot heavier. <laughs> Oof. I, mean, I could tell everything would be alright, but that would sound a bit condescending. What does he... What does one do in this kind of situation? Maybe a joke? Nah, that'd be tasteless. Okay, just try and say anything. At the very least, you'll break the tension. You'll be distracting her, be enough? I don't think clearly when under this kind of pressure, do I? Oh, uh, there was a private eye here in the other day. I Sorry, I'm a bit of an head. Private detective, I take it. Yeah, maybe you want his services? What's his name? I believe it was Art Von... No, Von Delay? Delay? Oh, that Art guy. Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for say. So you still have hope. I'm sorry between bargaining and depression right now. I'm not afraid to let go of bargaining. <laughs> I see. Um, is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at, skilled at gathering intel. I'd buy that for a dollar. I believe he'll give me answers about say, whatever that might be. Ugh. Sigh. Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems with the swing, you know? Sorry for making you uncomfortable. No, um, sorry, no, don't worry about it. It's not about feeling uncomfortable, it's just weird. I usually try to say something to my clients. 
when they when I see him down. But right now, I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. Glad to know you have much common sense, at least. You have that much common sense. All I can do is get your drinks. And can I get you anything else? Looks sweet. That'll help me calm down a bit. Gladly. Uh, let's do... I don't remember what I did, but it's... I think, honestly... Piano Woman sounds good. Sweet from my happy... Yeah, I get her Piano Woman. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. All eight. And mixed. Mixed. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Bam! Piano Woman it is. Thanks. Seems to really like say. I don't have brothers or sisters, and my social interactions are usually strictly business. So say is more of a friend to me. She's... She's... Sorry about that. I brought up that topic at a bad time. Ahem. <clears throat> don't worry about it. That's what I was saying. She's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. I'd say she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack that level of trust. I have to deal with high-class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. I would say I can be myself. I can do whatever I want and vent all my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. But here I am, sitting in a bar, making other people do that job because I'm a useless pile of flesh. Freaking, don't, you don't need to do all that, man. Don't be so mean to yourself, freaking. Dude, it's a bad, like, it's a bad situation all around. But you, it does not help anybody to be down on yourself. Blame yourself for this sort of thing. Like, literally. Say just in trouble right now. She needs help. <laughs> Sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? I'm going to take my break. Can you use some? Well, for a given value of fresh. I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, then. Gil, please service Miss Stella while I take my break. Sure, give it to me. Cool. And let's get our save. I believe it was around here. Yeah, this is where we continue on. And that's what I did. It's it's caught up like exactly where we want it, I think. So like, watch, we'll see. Um, yeah, there's two breaks, day seven. I, they're they should be the same. About, I don't really know. <laughs> they're about the same. I remember like, uh, doing like whatever things, just like some mistakes, some not mistakes. I don't know, but so we should be able to continue off, no problems. I ended up just like re re redoing the part, so that way it shows up on the bot. <laughs> You know, continuity and stuff. But yeah, we'll just continue off like nothing ever happened, you know. Oh, uh, uh, we're back from our break. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, God damn it is chilly outside. <laughs> what did I just do? Um, what the freak? How did I do that? I don't know how I did that. Let me get a drink, actually. Hold on. There we go. I got a drink. Nice. Mm-mm-mm. Excuse me. Oh, so they had me working like a dog today. I didn't drink in, I didn't mention that. But I, I you know I work today, whatever. Freaking dude. <laughs> it wasn't even that bad. No, it's just a lot back to back. That's it. I didn't get any breaks. I just kept going and I was like, I gotta go. So I did my job, left freaking and dipped immediately. And I was like, I gotta go home. I was gonna, I was gonna like take a nap or something, but I had to go eat, and I was like, <sighs> and I was like, I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know, just planning, I guess. That was like, screw it, I'll just play the game. Um, I'll drink to that. Freaking. <sighs> don't drink caffeine. If you can avoid it, don't drink caffeine. Can I pet that doll? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, yeah, don't drink caffeine. Um, I chug like half of this thing of caffeine because um, I felt like I might need it. And you know the mean meme? No, I don't think so. Because I mean, not off the top of my head, no. Um, but yeah, if you can avoid caffeine, please don't be like me. Anyway, uh, I, I don't know that mean <laughs> about the painting that dog. Unless I do, but I just can't think of it at the top of my head. You can probably send it to me on Discord or something, maybe. I probably, I, I might be able to actually see it. Caffeine is awesome. No, it's not. Oh, yeah. Let's actually start the game. <laughs> it is. I mean, it works, right? It gets the job done, but I wouldn't recommend it just because, like, dude, it's bad for you, man. Uh, I got no. I'm back. Oh. And it's. Oh, wait, we're back here. Okay, I know. Where we're at. Um, what would a kid like you know about that, huh? And give you the facts as they are. 
<laughs> what happened while well, I was gone? Let's see. Detective guy comes in, Cat Boomer Girl greets him, they start talking. Everything was okay until the girl mentioned Saibutsu Corp offhand. After that, the guy got riled up and started badmouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. She just carried on like it was just a normal conversation. Let's see. I don't deny Zabuji Corp is anything but innocent. When you get down to it, it's enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah, by enhanced, you mean getting yanked around by a shiny new chain around our necks. Can't you see that those big companies don't care about us? Why do you think Glitch City is markedly called the guinea pig of the world? Sent it? Thank you, I'll check it out later. Uh, we're just one big test group for them to use however they want. But then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was. I've known a rich kid, because he's broke. True, I don't know how. And true, I have the privilege that runs, that clouds my judgment. But you, can you... Can you deny that the meddling of Zabutu Corp has brought quite a few benefits? Like what? The AI integration program that they started is making huge advances in the AI department. Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AI as a citizens. Yes, but we also do hold the AI reformation program. Meaning that we're also the world's Lilum prism. Prison. AI went rogue, transfer to a delivery drone or ship it to Glitch City. The, that murderer is now delivering your pizza. Fair point. Uh, though the program has, like, reformed people, they don't brag about their 88% success rate for nothing. Um, the city also has a stronger economy. Zabutu Corp's success made more and more companies bring their products here, and the gap between classes continues to grow. Damn. More companies just mean more people who plant their feet on your face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Uh... <laughs> Zabutu Corp's main medical research brand has also made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses previously thought incurable are being addressed every day. It's amazing, for those who can avoid them. Meanwhile, down here, we're experiencing medicine shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Well, um, but there's also more jobs. All the companies coming down here need personnel, so the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs? Shut up. Am I wrong? That's... Uh, hey, you don't just sit there. <laughs> Give me a Zen star. Sure. Let's make a Zen star for the sore baby. What an idiot baby. Freaking, uh, Zen star. Uh, it's two of each, right? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, on the rocks. Four of each ingredient. My bad. Never mind. Okay. Jesus, man. Calm down. On the rocks. And mix. One, two, three, four, five. Bam. Zen star. All for you, you little guy. God. It's your order, though. See? Okay. I seriously you don't just you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. That's why I say it. You do bring up something I've always failed to remember. All the benefits you gain over time are limited to a few. I can talk about advances all I want, but at the end, there's still a luxury belonging only to a few. And even those that can be accessed by everyone are more like an improvement in the better picture bigger picture. Doesn't take away the fact that there have been positive changes. Could have credit to do, do you think? That's a pretty much your answer. Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussion are the ones whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Mature, whatever. I'm gonna take a chance and ask you about the job I gave you yesterday. Haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you that she hasn't been at the bank when it opened up. And what does that mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started, or she managed to escape at some point when the whole thing ended. All the corpses are accounted for. They only found one totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. Wasn't your friend, that much for sure. I see. Did you call him here? No, he just happened to come here today. The weird part is that the girl did enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. I see. Thanks. Keep it up. Freaking your face brand a bit. Hope is the last thing you lose, I guess. If he's telling the truth, Sam might have a way out. She's a resourceful girl. She surely did something. I think I have another drink. Do anything? Me, uh I get whatever you order. Two bad touches to be. Please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want it. I don't know why I don't know why we think it's so funny though. We can it's a bad touch. Or on the rocks and mix. Okay, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two, three, four. On the rock. One, two, three, four, and five. Bam. Another one. Uh, yeah, we're good. Three, four, and five. Bam. That's two. We're freaking, we're good at this, man. <laughs> okay, this, is, this is how I be doing it. I like actual work, dude. Just like, I just like, I got you, man. Freaking get it done. I remember this one party I went to. The guy that came up with me, wait, came up with the name of this drink showed up. And the people found that one out, they lined up slapping for whatever reason. They didn't seem offended to me though. Imagine a guy shows up and tells you, I made the classy bad touch. Wouldn't you line up to slap him? Um, <clears throat> are you okay, Jill? I'm, uh, <laughs> glad I mentioned it. Did you find that girl you're looking for a week ago, Mr. Von Delay? Turns out she was, she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl. 
Someone paid me to look for a Crimson Rose, and she happened to be at the, um, what? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for? Oh, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about today with is people. Why is that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle that she has no problem getting people on her side. And on the off chance she has to defend herself, well, I once saw her take care of a war boat gone haywire by herself. We're bot. She didn't need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, she's also really good with crab, maga, and... Something wrong? No, nothing, I just realized I forgot all about that. She's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful. She surely found a way out. Sigh. I just hope she's well, whoever the hell she is. She was my nice girl. Do another drink, Mr. Von Delay? It's on me. You sure? Yeah, order away. Alright, have a piano man. And you, Miss Stella? I'm fine, get his order. One piano man for the big baby. I got you, man. One, two, one... One, two... Oh, okay, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. On the rock. One, two, three. And mixed. One, two, three. I'm getting better at this, at the very least. Piano man, all for you. Dude, this is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. Alright, I should get going. My contact will arrive at the rendezvous point soon. Something, something, I'll tell you if I know anything. Please do. Alright then. You've been generous today. He made my night with his discoveries on safe situation. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. That's it for me. Good night, Miss Sophie. Thanks again. Please come again. Uh, yeah, you, you don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. <laughs> Thanks. This place is soothing. I just sit up there near the arcade. Alright then, that would be all, Dana. Quite a mess. The situation with, um, Robert. Brian, you're meeting now with MI MI6 Hall C. Right, right. Oh, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Uh, Brian, fancy me and you here. I didn't expect to see you here of all places. You busy? Mind guessing up for a bit? Sure, no problem. We'll be sitting over here. Yep. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Uh, uh who are you? <laughs> oh, he's three? Telephone is an old model, so hanging up is a bit laggy. You can call me Cats, by the way. Um, okay, I'm chill. You guys have a lot of liberties. You guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. She's not hurting anyone, I wouldn't... Uh, wouldn't you say it's more interesting than what... We can finally hang up. It's been quite the day. At least the tweets are calm today. Yeah, yesterday was gunshot. But... Oh no. I have... Uh, arrived yet again at the... <laughs> oh god, at the Majestic Hall of Heroes. Calm until now. We meet again, bartender. You look winded, Virgilio. Virgilio. It's pronounced Virgilio. No, I'm pretty sure it's Virgilio. You said as much the last time you came. Pronunciations are a silly thing. Society imposes on letters. They want to be free. They want to be pronounced however they want. Uh, you look winded, Virgilio. Virgilio. We're all little toys winded by the crew hand of fate. Just stumbling until it decides not to wind us anymore. And yet, you're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. That's, um, that was dark. Just like that? I can dark however I want. Yes, you can. I'm gonna get you. Something fake. Of course. Something fake. This one is interesting. It's like, what the freak you mean? Don't, I got him. I think I got him a beer. I don't even remember if that was that that worked or not. Um, he always has like weird orders, man. Um. Hmm. Hmm. What to get this guy? Um, something fake, huh? <laughs> What, this? No. Um... Just like... What the freak? What, what do you even... What, what do you, what do you even... <laughs> uh, I don't know, it's a red face, like actual planet, grizzly temple. PG rated. Beer, blah, 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 frothy water. A fringe weaver. Huh. A couple of these will make your tongue feel better, but more of them, you'll be sleeping soundly. I would knock the drunkness out of you or knock you out cold. I like champagne, so I cut that. A bit of cola left. Brantini. Um, one of these make all your teeth turn blue. Hope you brush them well. Brown. Um. <laughs> a beer. This is something I think of because it's like it's pretty close to the real deal. It's like the whole point. Or one of these, two of these, all mixed. One, two, three, four, and five. Bam, bam. Here you go. Now, tell me what this is fake. Because I didn't even try. <laughs> You actually say to me, giving a damn about the abstract order of fate. Bravo! Brilliant! Hey, Virgilio, what do you work? I take the noble duties of curator at the Steampunk Museum. Really, what do you do? I study everything that comes and keep it clean for the people that visit the premises. 
but lately my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah, he told me, stop touching the exhibits, you're gonna break them. They're never something. Huh? He still fails to realize that I'm the curator there. Without me, all those machines will be r rustier than they already are. <laughs> Even the visitors get that I'm, I'm the one responsible for those. Why can't the owner realize that too? Yeah. But he treats you like a, I don't know, a janitor or something like that. Exactly. <laughs> okay then, happy next challenge, bartender. Challenge. I want purity. I'm gonna give him, uh, if he wants purity, I can't give him pure ingredients, so, um. Oh, uh, I can give him rum. Or I can give him freaking, what's, what's that one called? I think it's the one with like nine alcohol or something like that. Uh, what was it called? Uh, I think it was like a... Sunshine Cloud? Nah, I don't remember. This one with like... Um... I don't know. <laughs> this one with like all Karmatrine. All alcohol. It just gets him drunk. Um... I can say, screw this guy. Yeah, I get him a Fringe Weaver. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All aged and mixed. This is all you're getting, man. Um... Oh, uh, yeah. It is as pure. It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. He do no harm consciously. Ah, yes. Beautiful. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> hey, you. That guy over there. Me? Yes, you. Have we met before? Can't remember. Maybe? Yeah, I think... No, 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 no. We haven't met ever. At all. That's an interesting reaction. Maybe they haven't met before. Uh, okay. Jill, I'll be taking my leave now. Careful out there. Thing. Huh? Excuse me. Have we met someone before? That face. That eye. What about my eye, punk? We haven't met ever at all. Never, ever, ever, ever. Good talking to you, bartender. Huh. <laughs> you scare off a client? Apparently. Come on, thanks for anything. Don't mention it. We done for today? Yep, but it'd be blind considering the whole situation. Oh, freak that Virgilio, Virgilio guy. You guys have met before. Yeah, you can say that. What? Give yourself, don't mind it. What you talking about to Brian? Well, we're mostly catching up to be honest. I haven't seen him in a while. I've been him a, I've been him a drink when we, last, when we met last week. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to um, explain the situation with Robert here. Robert? You agreed to help me out with the last one when the time comes. Ah, oh. <laughs> I was tuning up the details for the new employee. New employee? Yeah, that's what I'm- huh? Part-timer, you meet him tomorrow. No. Oh. Him, so it's a guy. An adorable guy, if I do say so myself. I suddenly have deja vu. You alright, Joe? Yeah? Must be nothing. Interesting. Hey. Flawless service bonus, though. I'm too good. Yeah, Lexi, so, blah, 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 blah. Jill's a bit, a bit tense. Buying a soldier massager will prevent her from getting too distracted. Or you'll come to me with work. And it's like, what did I do? Okay. Uh, what about the shoulder massager? Is it massager? Massager. Is uh, this again? <laughs> oh, wait, no, this is the same thing. This is about the nano camera underwear. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. I think I'll get a pair, just to see what kind of skin I can use with them. Excuse me? They will nickel and dime with the DLC. There's no way to use the skin you want. It's only gonna get cracked. Get, it's gonna get cracked day one. Maybe, but I don't think it will be that fast. Yeah, I think I'll just wait until it's modded for custom skin. I thought the nano machine fabric was bad for your health. No, that's just a meme. My walls are made of that... My walls are made of that thing, and I'm alright. Are the walls hacked yet? I'm gonna marry Camo, Camo 10. And now, uh, we now have underwear that can change its look. I just love the future. I would have thrown such a bunch of assholes with their business practices. And don't buy the underwear. I won't. Okay, then. Uh, wait. Um, Paula Bank again. Explosion. This is from yesterday. I think. Oh, no, this is... Yeah, this is from yesterday, I think. Yeah, this is from yesterday. This is also from yesterday. The file about, like, all the bad stuff. The augmented eye. Men prefer Christmas cake. About women aged 26 and above who are regarded as undesirable. Just like a Christmas cake that ceases being useful after December 25th. But men around Glitz City develop the sweet tooth. Excuse me. Who doesn't like a mature woman? Todd 19 told the augmented eye. Oh my god. So tired of spoiled, immature girls doing stupid crap. I say, bring on the hot office ladies. Jill. Wait, what? Oh, that's us. Wait, what? We're, we're part of it? 27. It's confused. Christmas, what? Is that like the opposite of a beefcake? <laughs> After discovering the real meaning, she listened to an hour-long rant. I'll let you know, pencil skirts are the best. 
That's one hell of a rant. Dot dot dot. Alright, buddy. Um Okay. And Township 64 announced. Whatever that is. New wife machine. Sigma Mendesoft has unveiled a new line of personal computers for the anime enthusiast market. There's another several attempts filling the broader audience with the Uranus game console. Uranus. Um hmm. At the end of the hour, launch games have been announced as well. They include popular franchises, bleh, popular franchises like Monster Girl RPG, Monster Girlfriend, and Monster Companion. We're going for the we for the weeb audience. So Kirin Kirin Fifty One and the Sukuban Sock Janitor. What's dignity anymore? Sukuban Sock plans to launch the AM Township sometime next year. Didn't you play games from those guys? Monster Girl Puzzle, yeah. <laughs> One of the Monster Girls. Um, okay. The EKDV 186 gets historic update by Lana Smith. Um, yeah. Weapon enthusiasts are freaking out right now over a firmware update that make that makes the Maquis heavy industries is oh I thought it was like a typo. Releasing for its NEKDV 186 line of assault rifles, full compatibility with nano camos when announced, allowing civilian models with the weapon to use a nano camouflage and the option to customize their look for free. With the help of the nano kind of app. Freaking, they're adding camos. They're just adding skins to the game, is what I'm hearing. They've been using nano camo for the battlefield for a year now. Akis's chairperson told the augmented eye during the phone conversation, and thanks to its flexibility, we can now sneak back and sneak past the enemies using the environment to our favor. Our equipment is basically invisible nano camo, and it'll be up updated next month. You like guns? Now I need a penis snap up. Okay, ready? What do you gotta say, Kirimi? Dream person. Every now and then, I wonder if I ever meet my significant other. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're going here. <clears throat> we're, we're significant others, huh? All this stimulate from being born just three years, three years ago. Damn. And directly being thrown in this wonderful disaster is the idol industry. Makes me think of all the things I'm missing. Accidental love, lost love, or even the gentle touch of another person. I feel like I'm in this bubble that won't let me catch all the positive feelings. And my senses get tired from the same environment. I want to meet new people. Places. What? Because even though I have a large bank of knowledge, I actually never experimented with what most consider normal. We already know that I'm from- We already know that from my song, Smiley. I suddenly have the urge to hug her. I mean, yeah, she's cool. Nano camo. Let's customize. What are we going to customize? We can do our walls. Oh, I'm not. Um, there's only one. Oh no, there's a table. Um, our walls. How much money do we got? 9,051, huh? Um, this is kind of expensive. Damn, kind of broke. Set. We have gray walls. I'm thinking for our room, we need some color. But no. Um, I wish I could see what it looks like before I buy it. But I mean, we should be fine. Um, what would even go with our room? We have a lot of red. Maybe like red would go, like a dark red. Maybe this or this one. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, what do we need to buy again? We need to buy, I think, the massaging thingy duper. Take a massage gun or something. Also, beer and discount. Don't try to quit drinking. Meet the staff. What? So, the scrap of paper with a download code for meet the staff scribble. I don't know what that does. Get a Mickey banner. Um, shoulder massage. This is what we need. Tea. Green tea and cakes like whiskey. I think this is what Mrs. Kira Mickey herself would have wanted because she said like she wants a tea based uh, alcohol. Mike can get it if she ever comes back. Yeah. And then shoulder massager. Um, everything else, honestly, we don't, we don't really need. Are you Christmas? I mean, today's like what, the something teen? We can get that. Uh, cool.